All right, let's talk about the Leatherman bolster. At one point, it was a Costco exclusive. It's since been discontinued, and the only way to get a hold of one of these was if you went to eBay and paid some of these crazy, insane prices you guys are charging. I mean, come on, guys, do better. And I said at one point was a Costco exclusive because now... Leatherman just made this available on their official website. I never grabbed the Costco exclusive bolster because I don't live anywhere near a Costco. And on top of that, the launch of the bolster was so secretive and hush-hush. Most people that I know didn't even know about its release. Most of us learned of the bolster release just by going to social media and seeing people take pictures of it saying, hey, have you guys heard about this bolster at $39.95, a full-size multi-tool at $39.95 at Costco? What's going on? So basically, I just never picked one up, especially after I learned that it was basically just a sidekick with no saw. But at 40 bucks, if I saw this at Costco, I probably would have jumped at that opportunity because you have the bolster at $39.95, the sidekick at $69.95. So $30 more for a saw and basically the exact same tool set other than the saw. I think I would have grabbed it instantly. So what's the difference between the bolster that was offered as an exclusive at Costco versus the version that's offered on their official website? Absolutely nothing except this one is now 60 bucks as opposed to 40 bucks. So they must have added something for that extra 20 bucks. And from what I can see, absolutely nothing. The Costco exclusive came in a blister pack, which I absolutely hate, by the way. I'm not a big fan of that type of packaging. The bolster I purchased for $60 from the official website came in the very familiar Leatherman box right here. And yes, it still comes with the nylon sheath. But other than that, it's basically $20 more for the exact same tool. So at 60 bucks, that puts that right in the same category as the Leatherman Bond here. But keep in mind, the Leatherman Bond gives you 14 tools. The Bolster gives you 13 tools. And you can also compare it to the Leatherman Rev and the Wingman here. But basically, it's a sidekick with no saw, priced exactly the same as the Leatherman Bond. In size comparison to the Bond, the Bond is just slightly longer, as you can see right there. And compared to the Wingman, right here. It's almost the exact same length. The sidekick and the wingman were very similar multi-tools to begin with, and obviously the bolster is just a sidekick with no saw. But one thing I like about the wingman is it has scissors right here, and this is such an old multi-tool. You can see I really messed up these scissors. They don't fold back in as nicely as they should. I basically have to push on the scissors just to get them back into the multi-tool. But one thing I really like about the bolster and the sidekick are spring action pliers. I love this. And that's one thing I can say that the Leatherman Bond doesn't have either. It does not have spring action pliers right here. So that's a definite plus for the bolster. So let's quickly run over the tool set here on the bolster. If you're not already familiar with multi-tools like the sidekick. As I already mentioned, the spring action needle nose pliers right here. And yes, they are including the spring action regular pliers as one of their tools. There's spring action wire cutters right there that are not replaceable. The only tool that's on the outside is the 420HC straight edge blade right there. All the rest of the tools are on the inside. And what I really like about the bolster and the sidekick is this little thumb notch right here. You push that, reveals those two tools right here. That is a Phillips screwdriver and that is a medium screwdriver. On the other side, there's tabs to get these tools out, no handy thumb notch or anything. So I'm just gonna pull all these out at once. That is a 420 HC serrated knife. Right next to that is a ruler. Plus on the other side is a wood slash metal file. At the end of the file, you're gonna have a small screwdriver. The next tool is your can opener slash bottle opener. Right below that bottle opener, you're gonna have your wire strippers. And then the last thing right here is the attachment point right there that's not really listed as one of their tools. Now let's go back to the file here. I wanna talk about this because I use this file a lot, but the small half size file is such a negative for me. If we go to the bond over here, you can see it has the diagonal cut on the one side and then the diamond cut on the other side, but you can see it's the full size file as opposed to the small miniature file we see right here in the bolster. And the sidekick had the same small file and if I bring in the wingman, it's the exact same file as you can see with the ruler on the opposite side. So like I said, this is a definite negative for me. I use a file and a saw all the time where I work. 
And that's a plus right here for the Bond with this full size file. And with the Bond being exactly the same price as the Bolster, I think I would gravitate more towards this than this right here. But then we go right back to, will I miss the spring action pliers? And yeah, kind of. I love this. And this is the reason why I like the Sidekick so much because it does have a saw, it has the spring action pliers, and yes, we're coming right back to that small mini file, but we're getting right back to where is the perfect multi-tool for me. And as many multi-tools as I own, there just really isn't one. But this video isn't about that. This video is more about why the bolster is $20 more than the Costco exclusive bolster when they offer nothing new. And as I mentioned before, I just feel like the Leatherman bolsters release as a Costco exclusive was somewhat of a disaster. Nobody really knew about this release and I'm just wondering why, especially at that $39.95 price point. At $39.95, this is a fantastic deal. But at 60 bucks, I'm sort of mad that I bought this just because I know what everyone else paid for it at Costco. Plus I already own tools like the Leatherman Wingman and the Bond, which is the exact same price, but I think I like the tool set here better. Unfortunately, I can't find my Leatherman Sidekick I have no idea where that is. I moved recently and it just got lost in the mix. It's probably still in my basement in a box somewhere. I just can't find it. And I never really picked up a Rev only because I own the Wingman here. So the Leatherman Bolster, 13 tools, 59.95. It weighs about 5.9 ounces. The Leatherman Sidekick has 14 tools. Of course, it's the saw. It's 69.95, so it's $10 more. And it weighs seven ounces, so it weighs a little bit more. And that's basically the only reason I can think to go with the Leatherman Bolster over the Sidekick is the weight difference. It weighs 1.1 ounces less than the Sidekick. So basically, if you guys picked up a Bolster at Costco at 40 bucks or even at 35, I saw it was going for at one point, you guys got a fantastic deal. Does this warrant a 50% price increase from 40 to $60 just to get the official Leatherman box here and not the blister case? I don't think so. I don't know, guys. I'm just a little bit irritated. Couple the Bolster release at $20 more on their official website with all of the garage releases that I just can't get a hold of. And I signed up for email alerts and everything to try to grab one of the new garage Leathermans. I, I don't think I even receive those email alerts. The only time I know that the garage is coming out is when they post about it once on their Instagram page or whatever. And by the time I can get to the Leatherman site and try to buy one, they're already sold out. So that's just slightly annoying. And then Leatherman coming out with a 50% price increase for the same exact tool that they were selling at Costco, which for someone like me, couldn't even get one of those because I don't live anywhere near a Costco. Couple that with not even knowing about that release, you guys see where I'm coming from here. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you think of the Leatherman Bolster and its $20 price increase with nothing extra added? If you want to be like me and want to check this out for yourself, I'll put links down below in my description box. But if you did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. And go!